Hello. Today I'll be learning how to set up motion detection on a CS, LS, PS, or GS. To begin, go up to the menu bar. Click on the setup icon. Go to the event icon and go down to motion detection. Left click on it. In here you'll notice choices 1 through 4. These represent the cameras. I have a four channel CS, so I have four options. To begin, put a check in number one. Next, go into the zone and left click on it. You'll see the entire screen covered in dots. All of these dots are hot. To remove some of them, simply left click and hold down and drag to what you don't want to be seen. Clear? And we'll choose some more. Now, what we are telling the DVR is we're only interested in motion in this part of the screen. Right click and click OK. Now we must decide the sensitivity. You have two choices, daytime and nighttime. Daytime, since there's going to be a lot of activity, I'll make it number two which is not that sensitive. But for nighttime, when nothing should be happening, I'll make it real sensitive and move it to number five. I'll click OK. Next, click on the minimum blocks. These are the minimum number of blocks that need to be triggered at the same time in order to be considered motion. As you can see earlier, I chose 206 blocks. So what I'm telling the DVR is during the daytime all 206 need to be active at the same time but at night only one. Not a very likely situation so we'll bring this down a little lower. Click OK. Clicking on zone view will allow you to see the motion as it happens live on the screen. Now that we've set up motion detection, let's set up exactly what daytime is and nighttime is. In this DVR, you can see this is my daytime. Any recording before this or after this is considered nighttime. I change the time by simply clicking on the time and using the up or down arrows. Now we have to decide what actions we want the DVR to take when it sees motion. Clicking on Action 1 gives me a choice. If one action is hit, I can have it record all four cameras. But since we're only considering Camera 1, we'll just have Camera 1 record. Clicking on Alarm Out allows me to choose if I want the DVR to beep when it sees an alarm or put out an alarm out. Clicking on Notify gives me many choices of what to do. If I wanted to email, I put a click. If I wanted to send out a Twitter message, I put a click in SNS. Actions 2 give you the following choices. If I want to send a PTZ to a preset point, I choose it here. And if I want to turn on digital deterrent, I do it here. Next, we would tell the DVR to record on motion. So we go down to the schedule. We'll add a new schedule. We'll have it recording all day, all week. We'll turn it on, event. We'll choose camera one only because that's the only one we're concerned with. And then we'll change the settings. In this setting we have it on 30 frames per second at high quality. If we want, 
we can make it very high. Clicking Save and exiting, it is now done. You have set up motion detection on a CS, LS, PS, or GS.